Hello folks, Bo to Bob here, and just want to give a little update for the week. Um, been busy um, putting things together, cutting grass, getting ready to get some firewood in for uh, next year. So it's been quite a busy day. So um, I also made a trip down to uh, one of my favorite stores, Harbor Freight and picked up a uh, new fan. My old fan, I had a box fan and uh, it got burned up. Now, I'm not on fire burn up, but I plugged it in to turn it on and it smoked the motor. So I don't know if it uh, bearings went out on it or what the deal is, but you know, it's gone and uh, needed a replacement. So. I uh, was down at Harbor Freight and they had a good deal on a, uh, a portable blower. So I don't know if that'll do the job for me, but I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, so this is this is the portable blower. So let me go over some of the marketing that's on the box. Um, according to the box, it'll move air at a rate of 300 cubic feet per minute. Two built-in 15 amp grounded receptacles. It's uh, durable, lightweight, and made of ABS. It's uh, adjustable air direction and uh, has an overload protection reset switch. It's got a circuit breaker in it. Convenient carry handle. Carry handle built right into it. Uh, some of the specifications on this it's a uh, hundred and twenty volt the American version I guess um, yeah Harbor Freight might only be in the United States I don't know but it uses one amp of electricity the airflow rate as I said was 300 cubic feet per minute it's got an eight foot long power cord <coughs> And the overall dimensions are uh, it's 12 inches long, 8.5 inches wide, and 12 inches high. So, um, also, if you're curious, the item number is 61729. So, that's that. So, without any further ado, so what was in the box? The box included a set of destructions, owner's manual, and safety instructions. So I have it plugged in here across the room, and this is it. So um, can't see. Here we go. So that's what it looks like. It's got a plug right here, and one on the opposite side. The carry handle is built right here. And I'd say it weighs about not not more than five pounds. Um, it looks like it brings the air in through the side and then exits through this grill in the front. And the nice thing about it is you can direct the air to flow up straight out. You could actually direct it to blow down. I don't know why you would want to do that, but there are probably some reasons. You could turn it like this and the air will come straight up. And then the top, that, that's about all for the, um, the top has this rounded edge. Rounded edge here. And uh, that's about it. It has a squirrel, squirrel cage type blower in it and uh, that's the motor so how do you turn it on well on the back here there's a uh, I guess you call it a rheostat uh, a variable resistor and then the circuit breaker is over here let's not hope we don't need that so to turn it on I have it plugged in just turn it on like that and it'll blow and it's pretty blowing pretty hard let's see if i can demonstrate 
Well, there it goes to the destructions. So it's blowing pretty good. So it's that's high speed, and then you can turn it down to a lower speed. If, now where this would really come in handy is if uh, you were in a room that you had painted and you want to kind of uh, draw the uh, humidity out of the room so that the paint can dry a little faster, maybe even in um, drywall applications. I'm not sure what all. This looks like a, a fan that would be used in construction, but I thought I'd give it a try here in the shop when I'm out here. I could set it up on a bench and then have air uh, blow towards me and um, help cool me off. I also got one of these cooling towels at the Harbor Freight. What you do with it, you soak it, wring it out, and then hang it around your neck, maybe even over your head. Seems to work pretty good. It dries out, and when it dries out, you just re-wet it. it. It doesn't dry completely. So um, what you would do is just um, re-wet it when it loses its cooling effect bring it out again and then put it back around your neck. It feels pretty good. So I think it's using like some kind of evaporative cooling to uh, help cool you off and uh, it's pretty amazing. This is a cooling towel. This is a bonus. And uh, it's 13 inches by 31 and a quarter inch. Uh, Multi-purpose, cooling, drying, cleaning. So, um, Give some instructions here on how to use it. It's meat machine or hand washed liquid detergent. Do not dry in a machine. Store the wet towel. Place it in a sealed container and store it in the refrigerator. I believe what you're supposed to do is wet it, wring it out, and then put it like in a Ziploc bag or something like that and toss it in the fridge. Um, I left mine hang on the towel um, rack last night and it dried completely overnight and that did not, uh, it was not easy to rehydrate the towel so it might be a good idea like it says place it in a sealed container and then put it in the refrigerator so I'm going to do that but that's what it's called it's item number 62 six three five i tell you what i'll do i'll put a link in my uh, description to this and this in harbor freight and uh so there you go that's what i do now in case you're wondering the the links that i put in my uh uh youtube videos are shortened using bitly um they're completely safe all it does is track the number of people that click on the links inside my uh, video description and just gives me an idea of how many people are actually clicking on the link. So is there any value? I'm going to use this to help determine if there's any value of me putting links in the description. I'm not being reimbursed by Harbor Freight or the Cooling Town manufacturers or anybody. These are items I purchased with my own money and uh, if you're interested in them I don't get anything if you buy one so it doesn't matter to me if you buy one I just thought I'd share it with you and um, maybe it's something that could uh, benefit you around your house benefit you around uh, in your life so once again Bo to Bob saying thank you for stopping by and taking a look at my video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to know when my next video comes out. Ring the bell. Um, you'll get notified right away, and then you can watch the video at your leisure. So once again, thank you very much. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time here at Bo Bob's. Bye now.